While for so many people, this holiday season is about rampant commercialism, keeping up and rushing to keep up with the hectic schedule, we should all jump off the speed train and take time to not only appreciate the true meaning of Christmas, but also to embrace the true spirit of Christmas. Emotionally, this is a difficult time of year for so many. Depression and anger drive up the rates of suicide and domestic violence. Stress builds upon stress to destroy the holiday cheer of many. The underlying problem for so many people is that they focus all their energy on what they do not have rather than embracing what they do have. That is what Christmas spirit is all about. Whether or not you are an ardent Christian, if you live in the Western world, then you know that the true meaning of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Christ. The Christ child is a symbol of love, light, hope, and peace that makes this such a joyful season for true believers. However, even among the believers, there are some for which this message is not enough to overcome the depression, anger, and stress of the season. That is why it is so important to embrace the true meaning of Christmas. You need to reach down within yourself to find the spirit of Christmas. In order to embrace the true Christmas spirit, you must be willing to give. Give of yourself, your time and your love, and give of your worldly possessions. Do not think of the gifts you give to others as an obligation or duty, but think of it as a symbol of your love for them. While no gift can accurately reflect the love we feel for those who are near and dear to us, we can show them that they matter by spending time and thought to create or select a gift with meaning. My son likes to make his gifts and spends a long time designing and then creating these items. Granted, we could have bought a sweatshirt with world's best grandpa printed on by a factory, but I expect that his grandfathers will cherish the shirts he designed himself and then created with fabric paint, misspellings, ugly formed pictures, and all. If you are struggling with their Christmas spirit, then perhaps you should avoid them all entirely this season and find a different way to give. Embracing the spirit of Christmas also means giving to those beyond our immediate sphere as well, especially those most in need. Obviously, it is easy to throw some money in a Salvation Army collection, and that is certainly worth doing. But if your Christmas spirit needs a boost, then perhaps you should try something more hands-on. Signs shimmer and shine with the words Happy Holidays and Season's Greetings. Frosty the snowman strikes a pose with his top hat and cute carrot nose, and Santa grabs her attention with his red suit and cottony white whiskers. Perfectly wrapped packages with glittery gold paper and beautiful bows appear in ads, tempt us to shop till we drop at every bargain in town. Sometimes we hear the word holiday so much that we became numb to what the season truly is about. That's why at this time of the year, it's important we keep the true meaning of Christmas alive. Don't get me wrong. I love the holiday gatherings with family and friends and the grab bag gifts and presents under the tree. Even the excitement of shopping for that special someone in our lives can add some festivity to the occasion. But there is something more important behind the hassle bustle and holiday excitement. It's the celebration of Christ's birth. One of the ways I think we keep this spirit of Christmas alive is by staying mindful through the use of our traditional decorations and the symbolism they can bring. As we string the lights on the tree, we can embrace the reason for the season and the purpose for our gift giving by playing some carols. One of my adult sons enjoys hearing the lyrics to the traditional carols sung by choirs as well as the current holiday tunes. Among my favorite nostalgic childhood memories are those antique plastic santas and snowmen we all remember and love because they speak of our playful side of the season. But beyond these fun things, 
I recall my neighbors really found a way to express the meaning with their display of the nativity scene. Even as a child, there was something that made my heart just a little bit lighter whenever I viewed the beauty of the sacred infant swaddled in the manger with his parents by his side. It warmed my spirit on a cold winter night with the thoughts that God cared enough to send this family in order to reconcile us and our families to Him. I believe there is something mystical about placing these sins alongside or in place of our winter wonderland sins. Using them can be a way we share with others the reason we celebrate and share with our children the holiness of the holiday. A friend wears a rhinestone Merry Christmas theme, which not only makes a flashy fashion statement, but catches the attention of everyone she encounters. She's like a shimmering fashionista, wishing everyone she sees a blessed Christmas. Local churches, schools, and charitable organizations can usually give you a list of opportunities to give and help. For example, through my church, we have taken up a shoebox collection, creating an assortment of holiday gifts that will fit into a plastic shoebox, and then they are shipped to needy children overseas, and bought coats and clothing for needy children in our community. I helped wrap the coats and clothing as well as contributed to both campaigns, and it did wonders for making me appreciate what I possess. I believe wearing a pin, sending a card, or posting the words Merry Christmas is a way of keeping our focus and spreading the good news of the holiday. So with a few significant traditions and thoughts, we can joyfully display the true meaning of Christmas, embrace the spirit of Christmas, and find the true meaning of the season to bring more joy and happiness into your life.